Radical. Welcome to Radical Rap Fire Comments Spawns for December 5th through December 11, 2022. Short comments, quick replies. Herschel Walker. I am. Is it work with many a vampire? China got the good air, and a werewolf got the bad air. Vampire, some cool police officers, let me tell you. I am Walker, Georgia Ranger, and I approve of this concussion. Okay, I, I agree with you on some points, and I disagree with you on some points, Sarah Herschel Walker. I don't know about China getting the good air and a werewolf getting the bad air. I don't understand that enough to agree or disagree. And I don't know if it's true you work with many a vampire or if you were an actual Georgia Ranger. I got to question those two points. I don't approve concussions. No one improves concussions. Okay. Maybe you've had so many concussions in your life. You think they're a good thing, but they definitely are not. When it comes to vampires being some cool police officers, I have never seen a vampire police officer. I have never seen a police officer. That's a whole new, that's a whole new thing. Uh, there's a whole, that, that is a whole different variety of things to worry about when it comes to police officers. Because right now, when you're speeding and you see a police officer, you're worried. But if you're speeding and you see a vampire police officer, you're worried that you might get a ticket and get bitten and turned into a vampire or a police officer. How's that work? If you're bitten by a vampire police officer, do you turn into a vampire police officer, a vampire, or maybe just a police officer? Probably a vampire, but I'm not sure. The Winged Avenger. You need eight hours of sleep a night. Chronic sleep deprivation can lead to any of several degenerative neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Just ask Michael J. Fox. Uh, last night, I... I went to sleep around 7 a.m. I just had a late, late night cleaning up the storage room, continuing to do that and organize things. And I had the office playing in the background. And I don't even really like the office that much. But I found myself just, just shocked at how much of a cringe character Michael was on that show. There's like got to be the top, the top cringe character of all time. But uh, yeah, right now I, I got woken up. And I even hate getting woken up and going back to sleep. It seems like it bothers me more if I'm woken up early than I try to go back to sleep. Just messing with the body's normal pattern. I, I don't think you need exactly eight. I, I think some people can have less. Maybe if you have like a really dark room or something like that. I mean, but eight, eight would be nice. I just, I'm not in a situation winged Avenger where I can get eight. I can barely get six right now with as busy my life is, you know. But I agree that more is uh, is better, definitely. And deprivation, yeah, Michael J. Fox. I don't know about sleep deprivation causing that, but I do know that I, I, I got to go into the next one. Radical Rapid Fire. Arioka, I personally prefer the Xbox 360 Slim model as they're very reliable, quiet, and I like a design the design over the E model. However, the E models were the latest ones manufactured, so if I had to buy one nowadays, I'd probably look for those. The latest one manufactured was to my knowledge, the blue one, the blue E. And I can't stand the way the blue E looks. I mean, not only is, I mean, blue is not my favorite color for a console, but the corners are like turquoise. That's not the best looking Xbox 360. You think it'd go out with maybe a great looking one. It's really not. It's really not. I tell you, when I put out the Slim and the E, the Slim one sells hands down far over and away over the E. Even though the E... Like you said, it was manufactured the latest. So is the perfect Xbox to have the best one? Maybe a brand new sealed in box E? I think the happiest I would be is if I got a sealed in box white one. Like sealed in box. And I would like to one day have a sealed in box white one and do an unboxing of that. How cool would that be? You know, doing a 360 new unboxing in 2023, right? Either way, that'd be like a new console. Baltimore Retro Gaming, you can use that fast charger on multiple devices. I have a wireless fast charger for my Carta 2 e-rig. It's more expensive than my first car, but it charges everything that accepts wireless charging. I looked up the price of that e-rig. Maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. I don't know really anything about vaping and any of that stuff. I'd like to learn more about that world. I don't really know anything about that stuff, admittedly. I know a lot of people vape, but uh, I don't. And I know I'm not really 
super interested in that stuff. But the thought that that would be more expensive than your first car. How expensive was your first car? And how long did it last? I'm just shocked that that would be more expensive than a first vehicle. I mean, what was your first vehicle? How, what'd you pay for it? You know, could have been great if it's less money than a car to two E-Reg, huh? Rune Mamba. Lavella Microsoft released nothing in 2022. They delayed everything to 2023. So games that were supposed to cost $60 this year are now going to cost 70 next year. Even though a lot of people had Redfall pre-ordered, I already knew this was coming. They're trying to get more people into Game Pass, and that's definitely next to the next to go up. That's probably the next thing to happen. Now, I wonder if it's going to go up for everybody, or if you get Game Pass, then you wouldn't have to pay the extra about. I would think just like a Netflix or whatever, when they raise the prices, it doesn't matter how long you've been on there, then it will go up for you. I mean, that's the business plan, probably. They'll, they'll pull everybody away and say, Game Pass is such a great value until it becomes less of a value. Still be a value, but less of value. And then here's what they'll say. They'll say, well, we had the raise prices on Game Pass because games are now 70 bucks now. You know, so uh, I just find it shocking that the first two years of the Series S and X, they had updates to certain games. Certain games looked better, but really they had no new Series X and S games. When does that ever happen when a console comes out, Rune, for two years and you have no new games, at least? You know, with Sony, you could say that they actually had some PlayStation 5 dedicated games. That's actually pretty fucking lazy when you think about it. Hans Kut. Take it easy and take time for yourself, Rick. The only person that knows what you're going through is you. You don't know anyone anything. Uh, well, when it comes to YouTube, I feel that I don't really owe anyone anything at this point. I don't. Now, sometimes you could argue, well... You know, people come by and they have an expectation of a certain amount of uploads. Uh, I would counter that with saying, well, it's been five, 2023, maybe six, six years now, uh, six plus years of steady, constant uploading, most time daily. I, I have not seen that almost anywhere on YouTube consistently from anybody that has a full time job. And now I have a side job on the weekends. I have not seen that really anywhere, uh, at least not to my level. Again, from somebody that has a full-time job. And I'm not saying that that person is not out there. Um, maybe you might see it from like a staff or something like that, or a constant uh, you know, media channels or bigger channels or whatnot. But I feel that when it comes to myself, yes, I'm the only person that knows what I'm particularly going through. All of us are going through the same thing, Hans Kut. We're going through life, and we have to designate time to certain things. I mean, I'm not walking away from YouTube. I probably, I probably never fully walk away from YouTube because I enjoy talking to some of you a, a lot. But some of you have to understand, I am one human being, and I have, I have nothing, nothing further that I owe to this hobby platform. Just being honest. Calamity of mine. Vegans have the major disadvantage, whereas vegetarians have a slight advantage as far as plant-based diets because vegetarians can consume eggs and healthy cheeses. <clears throat> okay. So vegans, <clears throat> they have a disadvantage because they can't have eggs or cheese, which come from animals. And, veg you know, you can't eat meat. Cheeses. Okay, maybe I could get that because it comes from the milk. But eggs? Eggs? is, I mean, that's like the chicken or the egg. Chickens come from eggs. So how the hell are you going to get away with eating eggs? That seems like the, the biggest cheat ever. How are you going to get away with that? Uh, and, you know, my knowledge was low on vegetarians and vegans. I, I thought they were almost the same thing. But that's a, that's a big advantage, being able to eat eggs versus not eating eggs. I tell you right now, it's just not healthy. It ain't healthy to not eat any meat, uh, no eggs, no nothing like that. It's not healthy. Like I'm, I'm a little bit off now because I've had, I've been so busy. I went two days without going to get my regular, my regular chicken, and I'm feeling it right now. 
So that's proof positive. Like I said, if I go get me some chicken strips, I'm going to feel a lot better. So do whatever makes your body feel better. Ray Burr, 80. He sounds like he took too many hits to the head in the NFL. He and Donald Trump just shows America's obsession with celebrities. If Herschel Walker, Ray Burr, was just regular Herschel Walker, an individual, and not a former football star, he would not have even lasted to the point that he got to. It's the mere fact that he was a football star that he came so close to being elected. It's that fact. Same thing with Donald Trump. Now, of course, Donald Trump is far more charismatic than vampires are cool people guy, right? Uh, I mean, and I use that term charismatic too. Like, I don't know. Like, to some people, to certain people, that person is very, very charismatic. All right. Um, but if Donald Trump was just Donald Williams, a nobody, a non billionaire, nobody, just an empty suit, and he was slurring over his words like he did, and he didn't have that background of being Donald Trump, then he would not have been elected. He would not have even got to that point, just like Herschel Walker would have never gotten to that point. America has an obsession, an obsession with celebrities. Uh, yeah, I, I'll leave it there. I mean, I'll go into the next one, but I'll leave it there. You all have to admit that America has an obsession with celebrities. I could extend upon that, but right around the fire. Jet Screamer! Why do we always have to bring up looks or crushes on women? Women are much more than objects of desire. Okay, I don't know what thumbnail I used here. And <laughs> sorry, I have the sniffles. I'm not sure what I used as a thumbnail. Maybe it was a random attractive female or opposite to that. Maybe it was uh, Lady Decade. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people that find Lady Decade incredibly attractive. I've gotten some weird, creepy comments from people that see Lady Decade as an object of desire. See, she is seen as an object of desire on a platform like YouTube. In the same way, you know, there's so many people that are seen as charismatic, amazingly charismatic people on YouTube, even though it's a lower level hobby platform. Someone like a Lady Decade is seen like a gorgeous, a gorgeous fantasy woman on something like YouTube. And she is seen as an object of desire. It's the way men are wired. Men are wired to see women first and foremost, young ones, you know, not, you know, really elderly ones or ones that are overweight, but, you know, young ones that are, might be good for breeding, for breeding. I'm wired a certain way. I might want to have kids, Jet Screamer. So I'm looking around. What am I looking around for? I'm looking for a slim waist. I'm looking for wide childbearing hips. I'm looking for, you know, a motherly nature, like a soft voice. That's things I'm looking for because I may at one point want to have kids. I don't know if I want to have kids, but, you know, my body is wired a certain way to tell me, hey, 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 get with that one. Have some kids. Have some kids. It's the voice at the back of your head. You not have some kids, but, you know, do the thing that leads to having kids. So you ask, why do I always have, why do I always have to bring up looks or crushes on women? Well, same thing. Women always bring up like, you know, Thor, the God of Thunder. They bring up him. They get around the water cooler and talk about Thor and how hot he is and how great it'd be to date him. It's the way human beings are wired, Jet. Screamer. See, you thought I was going to scream there, but I did. 